Welcome back to another Unturned video. Today I went solo on a PvP block server and we're going to go from nothing to getting quite rich and in the meantime destroying and making a racist and toxic duo rage quit the server. If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more, make sure to drop a like, let's aim for 500 likes. Subscribe as well if you haven't already since a huge percentage of you guys watching right now aren't subscribed. Last video I announced the mythical giveaway and this is the winner. To claim a prize, please join my Discord and contact me over there at discord.gg slash ldg. Also today we're going through another one which is a wealthy vintage Yushanka. To win this make sure that you have liked, subscribed and comment something below and chat members also have a higher chance of winning. Today's video is sponsored by High Pass, which is also the same server where we're going to play on in today's video. High Pass is a PvP network that consists of many semi vanilla and shop servers. They range from official maps to curated maps such as Buak, Alver, Erit, Kuwait, and Polaris. They have both 100 times and 10 times loot servers. PvE and vanilla servers are also currently in the making, and most of the servers are based in EU. However, a little portion are also based in NA. There will also be some changes to the servers, including a new anti cheat system along with a brand new plugin will be getting added. Events are also in the making as well. Giveaways and in-game perks and skins will also start happening. If you use the code Liam Does Games, you get a 15% off as a discount. The link will be in the description below and let's get straight into the video. Alright boys, we are on the server now. We're currently on high pass. I'm completely naked. There are no kits. There's nothing on the server. So today I'm gonna try to show you guys a little trick that I have for servers that have a bit of high times load. The server is I think five times, so we could definitely give my little tactic a try basically. We're gonna go to the dead zone and we're gonna try to lure zombies out and we'll try to get a gas mask that way basically. I think it would be a, a great idea. I think it would be genius if it actually works. But first things first, we're gonna loot Cherry Cape. We're gonna try to get some tools maybe for building a base because that is something that I will definitely want to do later on. I do want to uh, build a base today, getting myself some high tier loot. Hopefully we'll do well to be honest as well. Yeah, we'll take everything since it's high times loot. I right, salvage these so that later on we we'll also salvage the umbrellas. We don't really need all of these umbrellas. We got ourselves a bunch of caca. Right, let's make all of them into rope, rags. Yeah, there were people here. There's loot on the floor. There's some food. Yeah, all of the lockers are looted. Yeah, there definitely was somebody here then. All right, let's fix our pants. There we go. We got ourselves a lot of space. Bunch of more food and trenching tool. Even though I'll probably never get sand. But we'll take it just in case. Yeah, this crate was looted. Now let's check out some of the houses then. Yeah, this one has missing glass. Get ourselves another knife. Let's get ourselves some cloth. We're gonna make ourselves a bed. Does oh, wait. I just heard somebody mad. Bro, there's somebody in this house. I have no idea where. Oh, he's right there. There we go. Easy. Oh my god, he actually has some good loot. He had a hammer, hacksaw. Yeah, he's a solo. Okay, I kind of feel bad. He has a lot of nails and not some bolts. He had an oak bear too. A bunch of duct tape, an arrow. I think I was making a bow. Oh, that's perfect. Bro, racks to riches. Kind of. It has 10 shots. That's not too bad. All right, let's continue looting the town. He has a civilian vest as well. Let's salvage the tie. Salvage the pants. Right, yeah, we got ourselves a bunch of rope. Paracord, easy. We can make another one. We actually have three paracords now. That's insane. All right, so I just pretty much looted as much as I could from Cherry Cape. We got ourselves a bow, some arrows. But we're gonna go straight to Milton Farm or Millant Farm because over there it's very easy to actually get weapons. Master Keys, Wardens, Oak Bears, Crossbows. They all spawn there, which is actually really good weapons. We also got ourselves a green bedroll, so all we need to actually build a base, probably, is absolutely nothing. I think we have all of the tools except for an axe to chop down the trees. And from the farm, we're guaranteed to hopefully get one. Alright, so over at the farm, let's get rid of the zombie. Yeah, he dropped a bunch of arrows. Yeah, he didn't drop anything. But we gotta kill the farmer zombies, man, not the civilian ones. Seems like there's a lot of zombies, too. Oh, there we go. Crossbow, Avenger, and Warden. Perfect already. I strongly recommend that you guys on any server, any loot, I strongly recommend that you come here, man. A lot of people don't go there because they just think they're gonna get farm stuff, but you can get a lot of guns from here, man. Alright, let's see what we can get. Let's get ourselves some dye. There's a seed. Hunting arrow, that's really good. Obviously, we'll try to get ourselves some high-tier blueprints as well with blueprint libraries and all of that. Get ourselves another crossbow, hunting arrows. Crossbows are actually crazy OP, so if you headshot a person, they will die. Because they start to bleed and it gives 99 damage, which is insane. Alright, so after we finish looting here, 
We'll try to do the dead zone thing that I was talking about earlier. If we die, we die. Just come back here for another run. But obviously, if we do manage to do it, then it'll be a very epic Rex Riches. And we got ourselves a Lumberjack Axe too, by the way. That's pretty good. Alright, so we are next to the entrance. We got ourselves a Bowie Knife and a Fork. A Fork is very, very important to make a Spot Cannon. Bowie Knife is good to make, like, rugs and all of that, which is quite cool. They're kind of rare to find. I'm gonna show you guys the trick that I have. Yeah, perfect. There's actually a zombie right over there. So basically, we will lure him out. Hopefully, he will drop a Gauss Mask. If it works, it'll, it's actually genius. Uh, he did. There we go. Did can go in the dead zone already. I swear to Gosmos, because I didn't. Now, whatever we find at this high tier, we'll vault it. Hopefully, I don't die somehow. I've been in the server for around 15 minutes, and we are in the dead zone. I don't know if... Uh, we gotta kill all of these zombies. The crossbow only takes, like, two shots. Obviously, to come here, you need to be well prepared and all of that. You can just come here completely naked. You still need to get yourself some loot. Goss mask over there. We could use those as filters. If we run out, we could just wear another Goss mask. But this can also work with vanilla servers, obviously. Currently, it's easier for us because we're in five times loot. Let's just kill him with a knife, man, honestly. We should be okay. Yeah, we did lose some HP, but it's completely fine. We can just make meds. We have a bunch of paracords, a bunch of cloth. Let's make ourselves some rags, some bandages, and we should be all good to go. It's a bunch of paper that could be very useful later on to make dynamite. So we'll definitely take that. All right, so we got ourselves biohazard clothes. I'm just killing these guys with a knife, man. Takes less time. So we're gonna go to the next level as well very, very soon. Thankfully, there's nobody down here to actually duct tape. Some of the lockers are broken, though. Oh, that one dropped two blueprints. Fireworks, roof grates. We'll actually learn roof gates, to be honest. Let's learn that. We'll salvage the fireworks. We don't really need fireworks. And they're gauze mask. All right, let's go down to the second level. Hopefully, we'll get ourselves some good stuff. There's a bunch of zombies. All right, let's kill this dude. I just want some guns from here, man. Two shots. Oh, wait, we're dying. Wait, why am I dying? What? Wait, how did... Wait, did I not wear bio- I'm, sure, I'm pretty sure I wore biohazard. My cosmos was also, also good, man. Wait, what? What happened? I think I forgot to wear one of the biohazard clothes, man. Thankfully, I do have some stuff in my vault. I don't- We should go back, though. I think I forgot to wear either the pants or the shirt, even though I thought I did. There's a base here. Right now, that's not really important. All of that loot is gonna despawn, man. Thankfully, I vaulted all of the good tools, though. Let's check out what I have. Yeah, I have guns, axe, pickaxe, hammer, and the hacksaw. There's a dead guy here. All right, well, we are back. I have my warden out. There's a bunch of zones. I can't see anything, though. That's the thing. I don't have a flashlight or something on me, man. All right. Gauss mask and by are close. Yeah, this time we're definitely wearing them. Man, we're doing this all in the dark. I really wish that I have a headlamp or a flashlight on me, man. I can't see anything. Oh, there we go. We went outside. All right, let's salvage all of these. All right, now I can actually see. We'll just use the elevator since we already have the level 2 key card. I should know where I am going. I can see a bit. I can see some lights. But I do think that all of the loot that I had did despawn, unfortunately. But then again, I didn't really have anything that special. And we killed a scientist. There's a bunch of more zombies. Another scientist. I just want to get loot. Whatever I get, I'm going to vault it, man. If I get an auto gun or something like that. You know what would be great to get? A tactical light. Oh yeah, we're in our loot room. We got ourselves a chevron. Or cross, some guns, some ammo, more ammo. Uh, ego fire, lovely. Some more ammo. Riot clothes, ayo. I right, swear that instead of a traffic cone. Wait, is that a light? Oh, I can see a bit. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, that's a light. Oh my god, that's perfect. All right, well, we're still doing this Rex riches, ladies and gentlemen. I wish I have a bayonet, though, so that I can break them with the bayonet. Some more ammo. Bunch more ammo. Yeah, all of this ammo and all of these items, I'm gonna vault them, man. Even more ammo, more ammo. That's Eagle Fire Mag. That's really good. Attachments. Alright, let's check out the other loot rooms as well. Alright, let's kill this dude. Hold on, there's even more. Some more ammo. Right, let's kill all of them. Ah, bro, there's another one. Some more ammo. Alright, that's pretty nice. Pistol box. I really would love to see find more gas masks to be honest. Because all of the only gas mask that I have is this one, and I don't have any other filters or any of that. So probably we should actually get out of here. Right, we got ourselves a bunch of attachments from this. No guns. Yeah, even more attachments and ammo. There's one more back here. Oh, grenade. That's pretty good. That's 10 gunpowder. Another pistol. Key card three. Yeah, now it's time to leave. Alright, so after that, I did decide to actually change the character. The reason was I did not have a base, I was scared to run around with all of the loot and lose it. 
I did vault the eagle fire as well, and some other important tools, and for that character, I left it untouched. I thought once I get myself a base, I would just re-log on the same character, home, and then we would have ourselves all of that loot saved. Alright, so I've been farming a bit, got myself some loot from Barrywood, most notably got myself a Jimmy Rifle, a bunch of tools, and we're gonna look for a base to build. I thought Jimmy Rifles don't even spawn in towns, to be completely honest, but apparently they, they do. So I'm really happy that we got ourselves a Jimbo Rifle. Now I think over here would be a good location, I built a base here when I did my 100 days hardcore. Now at first let's check to see if somebody else already built, because if not then that is exactly where I'm gonna do it. We also called ourselves a bear, it was quite easy to kill him. At the start when I started playing Bulwark I thought that bears were completely terrifying, but he died quite quickly man. Right, so to make a bed I need to die. Oh, I already have a bed in my vault. Now my vault I did put biohazard top and bottom, because we did find extra on our other character. The street dropped way too much logs. Uh, yeah, dropped way more than I thought it would. Jesus. But I also have the Eagle Fire just in case I would definitely need it. We do have a bunch of more ammo and guns on another character. But we'll do that once we build a base. I should. Yeah, I have a hammer. I did put it in vault. Let's get ourselves a floor. Let's do two floors. This is a good location to build, man. It's nice, flat, open area. So I'm gonna build my base. That's my next step. We'll put the bed there. Alright, so base is... Pretty much done. Placed all of the wood over here. Yeah, let's eat raw bear because I'm about to die. I mean, I can't cook it yet, but it's fine. So what we're gonna do next is I'm going to probably go to the mines and I'm gonna get myself, try to go to the deep mines as well. Try to get myself titanium, sulfur, all of that. First, let's get some stone from here. All right, boys, we are in the mines. I'm gonna aim to get coal, iron. Obviously, I'm gonna try to go to a side mine and try to get myself an oxygen mask and an oxygen tank. Maybe we'll get lucky and even get ourselves some dynamite, but I doubt that because dynamite is quite rare to spawn but they can so that's always good to have because later on i do want to raid some big man lockers as well hopefully we'll get lucky and actually get though oh, there's bones here headlamp oxygen mask lovely miners pickaxe that's pretty good oh, and an oxygen tank here okay that means that we can go to the bottom lovely buckshot ammo as well i don't even know those spawn down here but apparently they do that's good to know right, let's go back to the main area keep going down all right so i've been farming quite a bit for iron and coal we're gonna get some more though uh, miner's pickaxe is glitched, I think. What's going on? Alright, there we go. We also got ourselves some geodes and diamonds as well, which is actually insane. This one dropped quite a ton, actually. Damn. But yeah, I'm gonna try to get at least sulfur. If we don't get titanium, that's still completely fine because titanium is mainly used for a base right now. Alright, sulfur area. Alright, so after this, we're gonna go back to base. We're gonna smelt as much as possible. We're getting quite a ton. Yeah, we got a, a bunch of sulfur stacks already. Yeah, there's even more iron down here. We don't really need iron though because we already got quite a ton. Alright, so we are back in base. Now I'm gonna smelt and cook everything. We got quite a ton, man. Now the iron, I'll probably just make some iron crates. We do need to have some extra when we do build with titanium. If I do decide to do that, obviously. Alright, so let's start on stacking. Now let's cook all of the iron. Yeah, we can make quite a ton already. Yes, I already got enough for three stacks. Made some nuts and bolts. We can make crates. But in order to make iron crates, we need a blowtorch, which we do not have. Currently, I don't even have any crates. So I still need, I'm gonna probably just make wooden ones then. Alright, so from my vault, I didn't put anything though. Alright, let's just stack them for now. I'll probably just place them. And I'll go get some wood so that we can make some wooden crates. Or maybe I can already just make all of the sulfur into gunpowder. Alright, let's cook that. Let's get some silver, some copper. Let's unstack those. Cook all of the sulfur. Let's make it all into gunpowder now. Right, we've got ourselves a stack of gunpowder already. I'm pretty sure I can make more. Alright, we got ourselves even more sulfur. 68. Another stack. I think we just need more charcoal, man. You need a lot of charcoal for gunpowder. You need 8, which is honestly insane. That's quite a ton. We have more coal. But the thing is, we can just go get a ton of wood and then just smelt it into charcoal instantly. So at least we can do that. Alright, even more gunpowder. We didn't have enough for a stack, though. Let's unstack the charcoal. Yeah, now we should be able to make quite a ton. Yes, sir. We got four stacks of gunpowder in total. That's pretty good. Alright, so I just placed all of them. And basically, I have stuff in my inventory. So I'm just gonna go get wood. And we'll make ourselves some crates afterwards. Shouldn't take too long, though, obviously. Alright, so I'm currently in Barrywood doing a loot run. I got myself quite a ton of wood. But I'm trying to find a blowtorch, honestly. Because then we can make ourselves iron crates instantly. Wait, I think I heard steps. Wait, am I going crazy? It could be just an animal, bro. It's get so, so confusing sometimes. Oh, there's a guy. He's literally right there. I right, hit him. He dropped off. Here's a pistol. Oh my god, he has a shotgun! 
Oh, he's dead. Oh, terrifying. If he hit me with the shotgun, I would have died. Alright, let's take all of his loot. He has a master key, a bunch of ammo, revolver, duct tape, metal. I think he went to the mines. He has pyromorphite. Alright, let's take everything and we'll salvage it. Bruh, yeah, I thought I heard somebody. I was so unsure though. It was kind of scary. Alright, so I'm gonna cook some nails and some nuts and bolts so that we can make ourselves crates. There we go. Got one. We can make even more though. Alright, as for the gunpowder, let's stack it because I didn't even stack two of them. But we can make one more so we can do another stack. We have quite a ton of gunpowder already, man. So I'm really happy with it. And there's just one run in the mines, so probably we go a billion times and we can do a ton of raiding gear from it. Alright, let's stack everything else. Let's make some more charcoal, though. All of the wood that I've had, I made it into charcoal so we get even more gunpowder. Alright, we got ourselves another stack. We have so much! Bro, somebody just pulled out a gun. Yeah, he's on top of the- Why do people go on top of the roofs, man? He's not gonna even expect me, because I'm gonna come from behind him. Oh, I think he saw me. Oh, I missed. I hit him. And he is dead. Alright, it's a different guy. I have some pistols, some clothes. He has a fork, which is good. A big spoon. Bowie knife. Ah, oh, that's really good. A bunch of food. Some ammo. Police vest. Some food. Alright, that's not too bad. Another kill, let's go. Duct tape up there. I think he heard me and he went on top of the roof to try to kill me from behind or something. And then I did the exact same thing for him. It's kind of funny. Alright, let's refill our Jimmy rifle. Alright, so I made myself an iron crate. So I'll put all the high tier loot in there probably. Now let's salvage everything that we don't really need. Get ourselves quite a ton of metal as well. These little kills that we're getting are actually pretty good. They don't give us the highest tier load, but they give us a bunch of materials that obviously are needed. Even just extra small pistols are good, because at the end of the day, those guns are basically what you're gonna be PvPing with. I don't think I will be PvPing with Night Traders if I only have one, because I would be scared to lose it. So it's always nice to have like small tier PvP guns, especially since that's what everyone is running around as well. We also got ourselves a Ramid. That's pretty nice. Yeah, to make dynamite, I think we have everything. So let's just get paper let's just get gunpowder and we can already make dynamite which is quite quick man probably should change character very soon to, to bring uh, the, the dead zone loot that we have uh, but for now i'll just keep it there i'll keep it safe uh, let's make this into rope we got ourselves another dynamite two dynamites already that's big or oh, there's a guy going in the police station i'm gonna obviously chase him he's right over there he has a sheriff hat oh, he's a shotgun headshot Alright, he's dead. Dude, I got terrified when I saw him pull out a shotgun, man. Shotguns are way too powerful. Alright, he has a bunch of- He has four guns! Oh no, three. I'm gonna take them all, obviously. A bunch of meds, a bunch of clothes, we can salvage all of them. He has a gauze can too, which is actually really, really good. All of the zombies have just gone there, man. If they hear me, it's gonna be terrifying. Alright, let's make them all into rope. Right, let's break these. Maybe we get ourselves blueprints. Some paper. Let's take the police vest. We can always salvage that. Actually wear it. Right, those zombies over there are scary. There's flamers and all of that. Yeah, just a bunch of paper. We'll take it anyway, though. All right, and let's home. Wait, I don't have a bed anymore. I, mean, I think I just unclaimed it, actually. It's fine. I'll just walk back. It's very close anyway. Just go around. And let's walk back. Bro, hopefully I didn't get raided, man. But I'm pretty sure I just unclaimed it by mistake. Oh, yeah, we are back in base. I did unclaim it. I claimed it, though. I made myself some more crates. So I'll just put everything that we have in there. As for all the wood that I have, I'll just stack them. Place them over here. Maybe it's gonna be time to, to make the base a bit bigger. Make a little airlock. Because with a 2 by one it could be quite dangerous, to be honest. So I think that's what I'm gonna do very, very soon. I also do want to kill animals. I want to make myself head trophies. But since we have a Bowie knife, then we can now. Let's put everything in there. But so now we're doing pretty good progression. We have a bunch of tools. We have a bunch of guns. We got ourselves a lot of dead zone items as well. This is a cool thing about Buak, man. It's not just raiding, which gives you the highest tier loot. You actually have to work for it. And with these low pop PvP servers, I think it's the most survival that anyone can ever do, to be honest. All right, so we're gonna raid a big man locker. I do have enough dynamite, hopefully. I got six. Hopefully it'll be enough, man. I don't know if there's any buffed health. But I'll throw one by ones, because I don't want to accidentally throw somewhere and completely waste one. And we did break all of the <laughs> lockers around, so that's good. Oh, there's a zombie. Bro, he's gonna blow up. Yeah, he's dead. Right, let's throw the third one. I'm pretty sure it takes five. So if we do need the sixth one, then we probably messed one of them up. Yeah, third one has blown up. We'll throw the fourth one. If we get a gauss mask from it, I'm gonna be very, very happy. Because then we'll have another one. Or research kits, man. If we get research kits, super happy. Because then I can just learn the eagle fire, which I have in my vault. Right, hopefully this is the last one. Yes, sir. It fell. I already see a research kit. That's big. 
A blueprint, bro, this is bad. There's just a filter, research kit, fireworks, pristine gun parts. Oh, well, that was not worth it, definitely. Let's take the pristine gun parts, those can be quite important. There's a blueprint there. Concrete divider, let's salvage that. We don't need that. Let's put the filter in there, at least we did get a filter. I was really, really hoping for more, man, but it's fine. Probably gonna use the research kit on a gun though, definitely. Or the ego fire, perhaps. That eardrop is gonna land way too far. So let's just home. Zombies are gonna make it to me though. Yeah, we can move while homing though, thankfully. Yeah, we're back. Right, at least we did raid. Alright, so I made myself a goat head. We'll type man in there, because it's a goat. Alright, so probably my next step is maybe another run at the mines. Try to get myself even more dynamite so we can hit up another big man locker and hope for better loot. Alright, so let's salvage all of the car tires. They give us quite a ton of polymer. Now we can just stack them, put them right over here. There's a guy right over there. He's just killing zombies. He has no clue I'm going. Hit him. Hit him again. And he is dead. Oh, he actually has loot. I thought he... Oh, he has a pistol as well. Dude, I thought he had nothing. I thought he was just naked. Thankfully, I killed him or else he could have killed me easily. Alright, another W kill. Let's go. Right, let's kill the zombie. Alright, so I'm gonna craft myself a whole potato. I do have a potato. I have... I should have everything to make a spot cannon as well. I'm trying to find the dynamite. I'm pretty sure I still have one more. Where the hell is it? Also, I do have three vaults. The owners of the server were nice enough to give me uh, a rank. Yeah, we found ourselves a dynamite. Now we need items to do the spot cannon. Let's get polymer. We need pristine gun parts, which we did get from the big man. We got ourselves a spot cannon. Kind of wish that we get the hot potato at the same time as well, because now we have to recraft it, man. But yeah, this is a rocket launcher, basically. It does give low damage. At least we got something to raid with. I'm going to vault it. I don't want to run around with it. Definitely. There's a guy there. No, one shot, headshot. He's dead. All right, he has... Oh, he has... Quite a ton of load, actually. Master key, a bunch of hunting arrows. Let's take all of that. He has a disposable camera. There's a compass. Avenger. He has a hunting bow. Damn. Let's take everything. This guy was just running... Oh, wait. He's... Alright, it's a duo. I hit him twice, man. He's running away. He TP'd his buddy back. Right, he's dead. Yeah, let's push this dude before he TP's him back. Alright, he's dead. You're saying friendly, I mean, I, I don't believe that. They <laughs> were trying to come rush me with a monster key, man. Alright, yeah, he has some loot, monster key, a bunch of ammo, a bunch of food, popcorn, bro. Cobra Python, wizard hat, bro, the wizard hat is epic. Right, let's get out of here, let's go see if we did leave anything. Avenger. Take all of the guns, obviously, man. He's a Bowie knife as well. Alright, nice, we didn't leave a single item. That's what we like to see. Alright, I made myself another crate, I'm gonna vault pretty much what this duo had. That's pretty nice. I'm also gonna chop down some trees so that I can start upgrading base and make an airlock. Bro, these guys are back. Oh, bro, he's saying the n-word. Nah, he's dead. Bro, they just started screaming the n-word at me. Very normal. First he says he's friendly, then he just starts screaming it, man. The thing is they know where I live, which is actually kind of bad. Because they could probably assume. But it's fine, I'm gonna continue building my base. That's kind of what's important right now anyway. Let's make ourselves a wall. We gotta get rid of this half wall. Because it looks kind of stupid. Plus they could probably come from underneath. Which is kind of dumb. Let's make ourselves a floor. Bro, they're back. Oh yeah, he's back. And he's dead. Let's salvage the floor. Make ourselves a new one. Oh, the door's in the way. Alright, salvage it. Place that, place this. Now all we need to do is just a roof. Oh my god, they're back. Bro, he's in! Oh hell no. Easy. Now let's take some meds. Yeah, they're just gonna be probably outside my base spamming and screaming. I'll probably keep going until I make them rage good or something, that would be funny. Yeah, here's steps. He's back, bro. What? Okay, okay, I mean he tried. Let's chop down some more trees. Just for the roof. Thankfully, I'm making this airlock, man. Because then they would just door camp me with shotguns. And I would get completely destroyed. Alright, so I am back for another mine run. Trying to get coal. I'm gonna go down to the bottom and get iron as well. But right now, the main priority is actually coal. We need a lot of coal, man. Let's get some bones as well. Alright, we're back in base. These guys are punching my door. Bro, they play spikes. He's right up there. Alright, hit him. Is he still placing spikes? What is he doing? Oh yeah, he is. He's dead. Hello. What's up, bro? They're trying to place spikes outside my base, bro. That's kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie. Let's take them. Let's just destroy them. Probably one or two hit. Yeah, they're two hit. I mean, they gave me some spikes. Probably gonna be back very soon, man. I don't know how they're coming back so quickly. Oh, he's literally right over there. Bro, how is he back so quickly, man? Bro, he thinks I don't see him or something. Bro, go away. Oh, there's an animal chasing as well. 
Yeah, that's good. The animal could kill them. And it's a, it's a goat. Okay. I need, I need water because I'm currently dehydrating to death. Guess who's back? Back again. You know we're with the goat gang. I have the power of the goat on my side. Oh Bruh, this guy's using the n-word in every sentence. Bruh, these guys are not leaving. Alright, they're dead. Should we kill the goat as well, so that we get ourselves another trophy? I mean, probably, yeah? Where even is it? That's right over here. Alright, let's shoot it in the butt. There we go, he's dead. Easy goat corpse. Alright, let's destroy these spikes. Let's take the axe out. They're coming back, bro. How would- They, they have a bed then. Alright, let's just go find out their bed then. I will destroy it. I need more ammo though. Thankfully, we I do have my quite. Guys, who's back, my Guess who's back? Bro, they're back. Uh, there is no way. It's fine though. They're just. You're gonna be out of ammo and heals sometime soon. Oh my nigga, I'ma keep coming. Bro, they're trying to do a racks to riches by I don't know what they're doing, man. All right, fine. I'll punch you to death. Easy. There <laughs> we go. Let's go find out where their beds are. Alright, bets have been found. They take a while to break though. Alright, first one gone. Let's destroy this one. Dude, I'm even gonna use the Eagle Fire, man. I don't even care. There we go. Easy. Bro, they're back. Oh, he has a knife this time. Right, easy, but. Oh, dude, he has a gun. Alright, easy. I mean, they tried. You guys are just giving me loot at this point, man. They, sometimes they're coming naked. But the first time that I killed them, they had quite a ton of loot. Now they're just coming with random melees, random guns. I have to drop everything on the floor because I don't want to run out with actual loot just in case they actually kill me, but obviously they failed. Easy Avenger though, let's go. I will send you to the gulag, my boy. Bro, there is no way that they're back already. I mean, let them just knock outside. I, I don't even care. I'm just going to continue doing my thing. They have a melee. I heard them take out a melee. Guess who's back? Back again. They're bound to get bored at some point, right? Guess who's black? Liam. Okay, yeah, they know it's me. They just called me Liam, bro. It's kind of funny, to be honest. All right, boys, I have the perfect idea. I'm gonna put spikes there. I'm gonna open the door, and I'm gonna let them push. If they die to the spikes, I would laugh so much. I would probably die. All right, let's do this. Yeah, push. Oh, he <laughs> he actually did run into it. I heard them. What's up, bro? All right, let's close that. Yo, easy another knife. Carving knife, bro. That's actually really good. That could be used. For food, man. Right, let's drop everything and let's just go out and kill him. Where is he? Hi. And another Bowie knife. Thank you. Bro, it's hilarious that he ran into it though. Another airdrop is passing by. Alright, everybody, after that, I did leave the server with all of the load. Those guys also pretty much, they just rage quit. I was AFK for like 10 minutes and then I come back to realize that they have both left the server was pretty funny i had a good time but yeah if you guys do want to check out the server again ipm portal will be in the description below make sure to join their discord and i will see you guys in the next one bye